in our church. So I would like us to pray because of time so that now we can welcome our preacher. The Lord will bless us. Let's pray. Our God and our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we worship you this morning and we give you the glory. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for another new morning that you've given unto us, another new week. We look for more the glory. We release ourselves into thy presence, O God Almighty, and even to Jehovah God as the city, Jehovah God, and hear from you, from your servant, O God. We pray the Lord Almighty that will uh, anoint us fresh, O God, that your oracle also came of all the glory will be delivered according to your will and according to your purpose, O oh God. Be with us, O oh God. Even Jehovah God, as we depart from this place and even go to our various places of work, O oh God, we pray the Lord Almighty that your grace and favor of Jehovah God will carry us throughout this day and throughout this week, O oh God Almighty. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of each and every family that is represented in this house, O oh God Almighty, this morning. We pray the Lord Almighty that you may meet us at the very points of our needs, O oh God. Some of us, talking of all the glory, they have come with different uh, prayer requests, talking of all the glory unto thee. We pray the Lord Almighty that you may hear us, O God. And Jehovah God, that at the end of this day, we'll come, Jehovah God, with another new song and uh, testimony. Jehovah God, to, see, to sing and Jehovah God, to declare of your goodness and mercies upon our lives, O God. Be with us, O God, for this humble prayer of faith, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. For the word. Okay, praise God. Praise God again. My name is Bilham Wareri and I'm born again. And I thank God for today that He has enabled us to be here, even as we hear from His word. Not that I'm the best, but I pray that. He may be able to use me as a noble vessel to be able to communicate today's message. And our word for today will come from Psalm 119, verse 105. I know it's a common verse to us, but the word of God is still alive and it still speaks to us. Atakama ni kama memory verse. So it's Psalm chapter 119, verse 105, and it reads, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I repeat again, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Okay, let's pray for the word. Thank you, Lord, for this word. As you use me as a noble vessel, give me the words to speak, dear Lord. And may we learn from your feet, dear Lord, for you never prepare a table without partakers, dear Lord. Guide us, dear Lord, to be partakers of this word. In Jesus' name, I do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And, okay, this is a psalm. It's one of the longest psalms, Psalm 119, which is recorded. And mostly my topic is God's word. In guiding and directing our lives because we've seen up and in the psalmist is saying your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path and mostly this psalm is attributed to David and mostly kuna attribute ya David we know that he was a man after God's own, own heart and even these words relate evidently because he's referring to God, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And we see some words, it's like they've been used metaphorically. Okay, this is like symbolic in a way. Like you see the, like the word lamp, there's feet, there's light, and there's path. And when the psalmist is saying your word, this is like it's showing us that the psalmist has a personal and intimate relationship and is a believer in God because an arifahwa, God. Alafu, the word, word, mostly we use this phrase, nasema, word of God. And the word of God, uh, the psalmist mostly is referring to the law written 
in the Torah. Na the Torah books ni the Pentateuch ama the books of Moses. Jo hapo nipo the commandments also are stated and that's what was guiding the Israelites in the Old Testament and that is the word of God because it was given from God to Moses directly. And also uh, there is a lamp and a lamp literally ni it's like a source of light. And when you want to use it you hold it by your hand so that you can navigate maybe through darkness. But it just provides a limited light just to see few steps ahead. So meaning even in a Christian journey, when you say the lamp to my feet, any God and I could guide just the next step. Maybe you don't have the clear vision of the afterwards, but in every step, God is giving you like a lamp. So it's guiding you in every step. And, uh, the word also tells us to not be anxious about tomorrow, but in everything by prayer and supplication, we make our request well known to God. Yani we live a day at a time. Like Ikuja, because a day comes with its own troubles. Like Ikuja, you tackle it as today, tomorrow is in God's hands. So it's like just a lamp. Mostly Christians, it's like our walk of faith. And we are like pilgrims on a journey. A pilgrim ni someone who is on a set on a reli- religious journey because it's like we are just passers by <coughs> in this world and we are aiming for God's kingdom because that's the hope we hold for. And that's what we walk towards to. And mostly when we speak about light, um, when you have a vision of light. Mostly, kama e room, the way it has light, we can vividly see things <coughs> clearly. And mostly this word light has been mentioned several even in the Bible. Like even in the creation story, when God separated light and darkness. And when light comes, it's like kuna kwa na order ama something. Something is established. And God is light, and we are, we are told that we should walk in light, and light and darkness as easy it can be up a moja. So as Christians, we also emphasize that our actions, may they be like ziko kwa muangaza, because yes, mostly we can feel like conforming, but we have a call that God has called us to, to walk in light, because his light and that will enable us to have fellowship with him because if you have fellowship with god it's like having a relationship with with him and what is according to the light and the good thing is god has given us his word and his word is <coughs> the bible and thanks god at least the bible it's a guideline to us christian in case you need of anything, when you are down, you can turn to the Bible and you find comfort. And in case you need guidance, the Bible is the go-to for each and every Christian. Because that is what we've been given as a manual. And also, we see the psalmist is declaring or in other terms acknowledging that the word of God provides guidance. Just like a lamb shows the way in the darkness, also the scriptures offers direction and wisdom for making decision. And we can also have another scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. We can just read. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. So God's word helps believers also to discern the right, the right path when faced with maybe life complexities and 
maybe moral dilemmas because in this path of Christianity, it's not a smooth sail, but when we have a firm foundation, God helps us to be able to have that designing spirit. And we also see that the psalmist is acknowledging that God offers protection. Uh, the word of God offers protection. And this is like our shield, like we read in the Ephesians when you are told to put on the full armor of God. And when it offers us protection, it offers us protection from maybe spiritual darkness, deception, and danger. And when you are walking in light, it also exposes falsehood and things of dark. And we can also read in Psalm 119, still the same Psalm, now in verse 11, where we see the psalmist is saying that, Psalm 119, verse 11, the psalmist is saying, I have stored up your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Okay, mostly like, let's say when a young man is pursuing a young lady, mostly anatakanga kujua, maybe the love language on how to win her heart. So also in, also the work with God, you need to put, store up his word in your heart so that you may not sin against him. Ama you may know God and Apenezona, these ways and these are not according to him. Because also God tells us in his word, kuna ile sam, the seven things that God hates and the ones that he despises. And we also see the psalmist is acknowledging that the word of God, it gives us comfort and hope. Because in this life, we can have a sanctity, suffering and sorrows, but God promises are found in his word and they sustain us through it all. And it's necessary for that you may continually depend on God's word, just as a traveler in the dark needs to keep the lamp lit and close to his hand. Believers, as believers, us, we must continually immerse ourselves in scripture. And by saying we immerse ourselves in scripture, this is like we regularly read the word, meditate on it, and not only hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. And may God help us as we are pilgrims on this journey. And may we end it well and not to be anxious about tomorrow, not be limited by what is in front of us, but may we be encouraged and to have God's word in our hearts. And the good thing is God reveals his will unto us and directs us according to walk to that will. And may we be encouraged to be like the psalmist and to also declare these words that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And may God's word keep guiding us and directing us even in our day-to-day -day lives because this is the manual that we have and may our lives also draw more to the fold of Christ because the chief end of man is to glorify God and also there is an added advantage to also enjoy him in the land of the living because there are promises that he has granted us despite all. And that will be our sermon for today. I believe each one of us as a take home, we can still go reflecting on that Psalm 119 verse 105 and may God's word keep guiding us and directing us just as Vile, it was directing the children of Israel. Yes. May it also direct us because this is Sandio. We are now the ones now to have now that <laughs> now to continue with the journey till the coming of Christ. And maybe we can give thanks for the word. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for it comes alive, dear Lord, for it has reminded us, dear Lord, to be able to 
use your word as a lamp and to store it up in our hearts, O oh Lord. May your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, dear Lord. Despite all odds of life, dear Lord, we pray for strength, we pray for perseverance in all that we do. Which is in Jesus' name, we pray, believing and trusting. And there is a song, uh, when you see Wakikuyu, but it will just sing a short chorus. Uh, Morugu ne guada hoya, more kera tu gai no deri waku, pere ne rei hoya re rea da ko hoya, reke deke o mo wa ma tigari mako. Okay, the moya name by your wimbo anasema, God walk with me, that's my prayer, and ni mulikie na mwangaza wako, and that's my humble prayer that may God continue <coughs> to mulikia our paths and may we live to glorify him in all that we do. Be blessed and have a blessed day ahead. Thank you.